All right, so we're going to attempt to um, swap these two ASICs on this S19 XP hashboard. Um, I've already detached it, as you know. So the first thing I like to do, we're going to be using the HDE or heavy duty soldering iron by JVC. I'm going to flux these, this pad, just a little bit of flux using um, this um, rosin flux paste. I don't want too much on the brush. I kind of just want it fond of things itself. I don't want anything else. Easier said than done. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is kind of like a preheat because these are aluminum backboards. So I'm going to take my heavy duty solder iron. I have my ASIC ready to go. It's going to get this these pins nice and hot. You can see that rosin burning off a little bit. So we're looking for like a, I don't know if you can see the heavy duty soldering iron underneath. I just want to get these pins ready to go and you can see the flash there. Oh yeah. So, next thing we do, put that down for a second. There's probably enough flux on there, so I don't think I'm going to need to reapply. If I do, I'm going to use um, liquid instead of... So I have the ASIC down here. I know it's hard to see, probably. But you want to make sure you align... There's a little dot on the ASIC itself. And yeah. To the rest of the orientation on the board. So I'm going to place this ASIC. If I can see. And just kind of get it oriented. Yeah, the big thing is not to knock off these capacitors because um, <clears throat> they can be a pain to get back on, you know. So you really don't want to knock anything else. You just want to move this ASIC into place. Yeah, not like that. I'll make sure everything is aligned perfectly. As far as I can tell, that looks pretty decent. Yeah, it looks good to me. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid rosin flux to these pins. I don't have much left of this, but it should be plentiful. Okay, then we're going to take our HD, let it heat up for a second. This uh, particular JVC tool gets very hot quickly. So I'm going to apply that heat directly on that ASIC. And we should be able to get these pins nice and shiny. See how it kind of shifted there? And hopefully, sometimes you're hoping that it just fall in place, but that's not the case sometimes. I just gotta keep kind of messing around with it until you are satisfied that this is centered. I'm ready for the attachment properly. Easier said than done. Okay, look at like like that right there. So. See that little pulse? That means we were molten. So hopefully let that sit for a second and we'll test it out. All right, so I uh, just reattached this ASIC on this S19 XP. 
Um, I know it's covered in rosin flux, as you can see, but if I take my tweezers, it's on there. It's not going anywhere. Um, pins look good. I'm going to clean her up, and I'll show you the result. All right, so just in case you're curious or haven't seen it before, I'm using IPA here, and this is a ESD safe brush, and we're going to be using tin tip wipes to clean um, this ASIC. So I'm going to start the microscope up again, so you can see. Um, it'll be hard. I'll try to show you as best as possible. I right, just get some IP on there. I know it's pretty thick, this rosin. But it's important to let these A6 cool down, especially after, you know, replacing them. So I'll just keep dabbing it and keep cleaning. Make sure to clean the brush with the Kentep wipe, change sides. And just keep cleaning it until we get all that residue of that rosin flux off. And sometimes, you know, this will require, um, you know, going back and cleaning it with um, the ultrasonic. If, you know, you're seeing spots that are just not coming off because this rosin is very sticky. So I'm going to keep cleaning this, but I just want to show you just in case you haven't seen before. All right, so I cleaned up this ASIC swap on this S19 XP hashboard. Um, and tweezers are a little dirty, but um, the most important thing is to see each trace is lined up with each pin. Um, that is the most important thing when reattaching these ASICs. So you want to check for that, and it looks like we're perfectly aligned. Everything looks good. Um, so now I'm going to let this dry a little bit, and I'm going to take it through the arc test and see if we have any different results. Um, hopefully we do. Um, if not, um, we'll try something else um, diagnostically. Um, there could be a multitude of problems with this board, but hopefully that was helpful. And there you have it, folks. We successfully swapped our ASICs on our Antminer S19XB hashboard using the JBC Heavy Duty Soldering Iron. Remember, working with ASICs requires precision and the right tools to ensure a secure attachment. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more technical tutorials and repair tips. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.